Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's see how to calculate age pension. This tracker is absolutely free. At the end of this video, I will let you know how you can download the file for your reference. This tracker is fully automated. For example, you have a situation here in this drop down. Currently, single is selected and you have a couple of drop down here. So instead of single, if I select a couple combined, you can notice the entire table will get changed. So let me apply this. You can see the result. Likewise, under homeowner, in this drop down, you can see homeowner is selected now. If I select non homeowner, again the table will get changed. So let me press Ctrl Z from the keyboard. Now, for the age pension calculation, we need to perform two tests that is, in asset test and income test. And this will determine whether you will get pension. If so, how much you will receive. Income test is based on the financial asset, whereas asset test is based on the total asset. At the end, whichever is least, you will get the pension. So for example, in this case, asset test, the total entitlement is 482.55, whereas under income test, it is 807.96. So now you are eligible for 482.55 under asset test. Now, Let's perform asset test. To perform asset test, first you need to understand the total assets. So in this case, it is 513,000. So let me come little right here where I have listed out all the assets. So this information I have captured from this link. And then in column O, I have updated some random numbers. And here on the column P, for asset test, I have given S. Wherever I have given S, it means that will be considered for the asset test. So for example, now the total asset is 513,000. And if I want to add, for example, cryptocurrency, if I add another 1,000, 10,000, and under asset test, if I type it as yes, And if I press enter, you can notice currently the total asset is 513. If I press enter, it will become 523. Likewise, for you, as per your convenient, as per your preference, you can update the asset amount here and you just need to type it as S yes, that will determine the total asset. So once you have the total asset, let's perform the asset test. The first parameter is the threshold. For each situation, you have the threshold. This is coming from the input sheet. So you can see this first table. Here is the situation. If it is single homeowner, the threshold is 301,750. For whereas for non-homeowner, it is 543.750. And again, you have couple, couple separated, and couple one partner eligible. So going back to sheet one. The threshold is coming from the input sheet. So here for single, it is 301. So again, if I go and change it here from single to couple, you can see this table will get automatically updated. Let me press Ctrl Z from the keyboard. Now, excess asset. So to calculate excess asset, so I just need to uh, deduct this threshold from the total asset. You will get the excess asset. And then you need to reduce this excess asset by almost one third to calculate that the total excess asset divided by 1000 multiplied by 3. This will give you the uh, excess asset and the th after threshold divided by 1000. Now 663.75 is the final result. And now age pension fortnight eligibility is 116.30 for single home owner. Again, this information is coming from the input sheet where you can see here if the person is single, the total income or total eligible is 11.63. And then the final entitlement under single home owner, it will be 
the age pension fourth night minus whatever we got here on the asset test the difference will be the entitlement so this is how you calculate the asset test then now let's see how to calculate income test to calculate income test first we need to calculate the financial asset so you can see here we have 471,000 so let me go little right to explain again how to calculate the financial asset again as I already told on column and we have list of asset and here in column Q under income test I have updated yes and wherever the the asset which is not considered for the financial asset I have kept I have updated as no likewise you can update as per your uh, requirement if there is any financial asset you can add it here and wherever it is applicable you make it as yes and wherever it is not applicable you make it as no for example motor vehicle it will be not applicable and hence you have no again this financial asset I will press F2 from the keyboard to show the formula it is sum if function is what I have used and column O is the sum amount and then column Q where I have given reference of S it will calculate the total financial asset so in this example we have 471,000 now first let's calculate the deemed income to calculate deemed income again I need to go to the input sheet uh, where you can see deeming rate up to a threshold we have for single it is 62,600 for the couple it's 103.8 uh, uh, up to 0 0.25 the threshold and then behind that it is 2.25 so let me come to main sheet again here uh, 62 and 600 because it is a single a uh, single homeowner it is uh, up to 0 0.25 for 62,000 62,600 I will show the formula here so you just need to multiply 62,600 multiplied by 0 0.25 and then the excess of 6250 62600 six, 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 I just press to uh, F2 from the keyboard um, the total financial asset minus 62.600 and multiplied by 2.25 that will be calculating the deemed rated uh, above the threshold and now the total is 9345 just the sum of uh, uh, below threshold and above threshold again you can notice here instead of uh, single now if we have single and that's why we have the threshold of 62600 if I make it from single to combined you can see that the entire table get changed so let me press controls from the keyboard and now we got the total uh, deemed income and uh, to get the deemed income fortnightly all you need to do is you need to divide this total income by 26 weeks so that you get the fortnightly income now we got the deemed income so now let's calculate the actual income uh, this person is working and yearly income is 20,000 again this is again about the individuals you can update the information how whatever you want I have taken an example of 20,000 it could be 5 10 or 15,000 once we have the yearly income again to calculate the fortnightly income you need to divide by 26 so that's exactly what I have done so I have taken the yearly income divided by 26 then we have the fortnightly income exception that is up to $300 and after income income after exception will be the fortnightly income minus fortnightly income except exception that is 462.23 469.23 now we got the deemed income we got the actual income the next step is to calculate the total the uh, total to sum the total of uh, total income that is uh, the deemed income plus in actual income the total is 82 828.67 now to calculate the income test this is the last step so we have again exception here again the inputs are coming from here for single up to uh, 200 and uh, zero up to 212 for couple it is uh, 372 anything above 
212 it will be 0 0.5 and for the couples it is greater than 372 so coming back to sheet 1 here up to 212 it is 0 and uh, excess of 212 it will be 0 0.5 so I will press the F2 from the keyboard to explain the formula so we have 826 828.67 minus 212 uh, then multiplied by 0 0.5 it will come 308.34 now at final the age pension fourth night we have 116.30 again I will go to input sheet this is coming from here for single it is 116.30 then the final entitlement under income test will be the age pension fortnight minus the age pension what we got from income tax income test the difference will be the entitlement so 807.96 now we have the asset test total and the income test uh, entitlement whichever is the least you will be getting the pension so here you can see the test applied is asset test and the entitlement is 452.6 uh, 452.55 again this is a fully automated so for example if I make the changes here to combine you can see the entire table get changed likewise if I make the changes here you can see from uh, asset test it was now it have become income test so I hope uh, this video is useful and uh, as I told uh, you can download this uh, uh, template from the link provided in the description below.